So we could go into the maze. I think one of my current quests is to go to the maze. Oh, but I got more stats. More strength must be beef. Let's max that out for extra just damage. Cunning and survival. Oh, hey. So I did pick it up from that quest, even if I didn't actually put the point in. Well, that's cool. Either that or it's based off of my skills. I am unsure. Okay, well, I got a class point. Let's keep putting it into fast metabolism. Now let's go check out the maze. All right. I forgot. I just automatically pick up items, which is really nice. It did previously when I had to pick them up manually. It was so slow. Now I just have to choose whether at the end of the level or whether or not I want to actually keep anything. Well, I am an utter powerhouse. It's kind of ridiculous. I should probably start putting some more points into Constitution for obvious reasons. I mean, I've got a decent chunk of uh, HP anyway, but still, extra beef always helps. I'm just appreciating the fact that I can more or less just pile drive through anything I run into. But I'm also overleveled at this point, so that would do it. There. Ah, that's what's shooting at me. Ooh, treasure chest. Open it up, obviously. Murder the dude. If I can. There we go. Zoom. Now, I heard the developer for this actually made another game as well. I should probably sit down and look at what it was. Oh, hello. Diary of the Maze. Dear Diary, lessons are off this week as my tutor has fallen ill, so I have decided to sneak out and have a wander, wander around the old mazed ruins nearby. I will get in trouble if I'm caught, but as long as I'm back in a couple of days, no one will notice. Besides, I get so bored cooped up in those mountains. I want some fun. It's a rather dirty place, though. I've come across a few bandits and snakes in here, but nothing to threaten a grade 3 mage like me. I remember hearing that this labyrinth used to be a prison used by the halfling king Rupar during the Age of Dusk. But with the lawlessness of the time, captives were simply sent here to rot. Say, some say a magical curse infected the place and turned them into bull-like monsters that patrol the halls to this day. How exciting! Oh. We do have minotaurs in here. Would you... Yay, more treasure chest. I'm not actually sure if the loot's any good. Did I actually grab that item? Probably have double checked. No, I did not. You're wondering about that. Okay. So this time I'll finish this area and then, then I'll switch to DD art. I said I was gonna do it earlier, but then I got distracted because this game's actually pretty good. I don't think I will stream it much in the future. Like I'll probably finish this run or die. Let's see. Whistling Vortex. Okay, we had him. There we go. Loads of things in here to kill. Well, good for me. The more levels, the better. I wish to be a tank dwarf. Okay, let's keep going down. Me oh, God. Uh, let's see. Well, we want to move that to the normal inventory. Any of the rest of this really good. Steel battle axe, but it's two-handed. Insidious. That's uh, okay. Boots of dodging.
Okay, so those are better. So we don't get as much max encumbrance, physical save. But a little bit more defense, though. Ooh, shields. Okay, these are important. Okay. I don't think any of these are higher than tier 2. Yeah, there's there's still tier 2. Accuracy bonus, yeah. No chance of corroding armor. More damage melee cold. Oh, but only 11 ice damage when hit. that much better yeah I think I'm fine without this stuff a lot of items in here a lot of foes that I guess I should probably actually take seriously for a bit bammo did we find the the minotaur king Yep, we found the giant minotaur. Okay, so we found the boss. Let's see, what else do I have? No, that equips it. What else do we have? We've got that. Might as well blast the lot of them again. Go for the gooners, then go back to wrecking that guy. Okay, into the darkness, updated. Okay, so we've explored the maze and vanquished the Minotaur. Oh, looks like we've got more foes. Oh, and we've got more Minotaurs. We remember to open these chests. I think I forgot to open a chest on the previous floor too. Are more of these guys? Ah. No, thank you. That is that is actually too long. I like reading lore an amount, but that is actually too much. Let's see, what is that? I have no idea what that is. Okay, I'm having so much fun. Probability travel is making this trip a breeze. You should have seen the look on that bandit's face when I came out of one wall, disappeared through another, and came around behind him. Hee hee hee. I remember Archmage Terrellian's lecture about the spell. Probability effects can be employed for ease of use, but where are the relying on them? Ease of use comes ease of mind and weakenings of one's will of, and concentration. Soon one will find it oneself in a situation of risk, bereft of normal judgment of danger. And low on the mental resources to save oneself. Heat thee well. Bah, what tosh. How dumb does he really think I am? Besides, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having an adventure. I saw something. I don't know what it was, but it was big and shadowy. But when I tried chasing it, I got lost. Uh, maybe I imagined it? No, I'm sure it must be something cool and exciting. I just have to keep exploring. Okay, anything further in here? The answer looks to be solid. Pretty much nope. Well, sweet gear. Let's leave. Maze was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Now, we've got the Quiver of Ash Arrows. Don't care. I'm going to add Rot Break to my regular inventory. Any of these more than Tier 2? Looks like they're all Tier 2 or less. Lightning Leather Armor. Eh, it's not really that amazing. Yeah, most of this stuff looks kind of meh for me. And so I can just get rid of it all and get rich. Oh. Good day to you, traveler. What brings an apprentice mage out into the wilds? Oh, my story is a sad one. I should not trouble you with it. It's no trouble. Please tell me. If you insist, I'm a novice mage. And you might have noticed my goal is to be accepted by the people of Anglewen and be taught the secrets of the arcane. Who are the people of Anglewen? The of, uh, 
think I'm supposed to talk about them. Sorry, my friend. In any case, I must collect many items. I have some already, but I'm looking for an arcane-infused artifact. You do happen to ha have one, I imagine. Well, if you do, please tell me. Then mind. Okay, apprentice task. Artifacts. Arcane-powered item. Found this artifact. It looks powerful and arcane-infused. Maybe it would be enough? Planar beacon. Yeah, I don't need that. Let me examine it. Oh, yes, my friend. This is indeed a powerful artifact. I think it should suffice to complete my quest. Many thanks. Well, I can't use it anyway. Let's see. So you have enough magical items now? Oh, yes. I'm so glad. I'll be able to go back to Angle. But, uh, eh, oh, well. I guess I can tell you you deserve it for helping me. During the dark years of the spell hunt, many thousands of years ago, Lina... Linen Neil, the great mage of Korkul, worried that the magic might disappear with her generation and be lost to mortals should they need it again. So she set a secret plan into action and built a secret place where magic would be kept alive. Her plan works, and the group built a town called Anglewyn, Western Mountains. Marks it on your map, along with a portal to access it. Not many people are accepted there, but I will arrange for you to be allowed inside. Oh, how could such a place be kept secret for so long? This is inter interesting indeed. Thank you for your trust. Okay. So, we now have Archmage. Magic has not disappeared from Majael with the end of the spell hunt. But in the Age of Dusk, as the spell hunt was nearing its end, a powerful mage of the Car Cruel. Linil, blah, 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 we know about that. Okay, cast elemental spells, burn your foes, freeze them, blah, blah, blah. Summon powers of time and space to cripple enemies, dabble in phantasms and illusions, and manipulate the forces of magic themselves. Oh. In City of Magic. Let's check this out. And probably immediately get ganked. Nope. No one gives a dang. Hello. Anyone care to quest? Quest? Quest. 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 All women stand... Oh, well, she's still alive. Linen... Linen Neal, Supreme Arch Mage of Anglewyn. I'm Linen Neal of the Car Cool. Welcome to our city, Bulwark. What may I do for thee? Nothing for now. Sorry. Oh, well, no. Okay. Got nothing. Hello. Do you sell anything? I wish to buy magical artifacts. I am wealthy. Uh, beyond means, and I have no idea what to do with any of it. Rings, got some rules. More. But these. I don't, none of them seem particularly amazing. What about gear and equipment? Looking for special jewelry. The right place, expert in the jeweler. If you bring me a gem and a non magical ring, I can imbue it. Oh. Okay, well, I don't have biscuits for that. Let's see her wares. The answer is, eh. I'm just finding like really solid junk just wandering around. Okay, speaking of, I actually have some decent rings. You wanna try re-rolling this? Sure. Okay, so accuracy of physical power, changes stats. Ooh, those are some good stats. Critical multiplier, silence immunity, man each turn. Well, that's a solid thing that I'm never taking off. What else do we have? Prop break. Disarm immunity, pinning immunity, knockback immunity, max life. Damage when hit, 8. Or damage when hit, mental save. 8 when firing a critical mine attack, maximum 8. Spell power mental. Okay, so rot break is better Rot break is pretty good. The other stuff, not so much, though. So. Oh, is that a... That's a tier 3. Oh, but my gauntlets are apparently a tier 3 as well. Are they now? Yeah. No, they're tier 2, but rings don't count. Oh. Also, apparently neither do gems. Huh. Oh, that's fine. How much money do I have? Probably a lot. Okay, is that all their stuff? Some weird wizard town. Cool. I was expecting something a little bit fancier than that, but you know what? That's fine. 
I'm having a good time with this. I, I was really expecting to be... Oh. They're flinging me around a bit. Well, that's okay. Uh, did he just kill his friend? I thought these guys were like weird anti-mage people. Okay. Great sort of projection. That's really good. I lose my shield. But I'm gonna move that to my normal inventory. What else do we have? Line stars, robes, pouches, torques. Nothing really looks um, stands out apart from that one great sword. That great sword looked great. I'll be posting this later to YouTube, obviously. I I will generally always try and post uh stuff to YouTube. Anybody left? Somebody down here. There you are. It's rare that a series won't make it to YouTube, though this one might take a little bit longer. It kind of depends. Okay, Glacial Steel Battle Axe, no. It's sort of projection. Not as good as the other one, though. Full Hide Leather Armor. Not as good as the one I have. Okay, Sandworm Lair. Well, honestly, I'm just going to keep going after these random patrols. They are lucrative and very, very easy. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Okay, there's nobody left. Exit to world map. Okay, ooh, ooh. Belt of unlife, treated as undead, no longer has to breathe. Huh. Well, there probably is nothing wrong with that. Okay, damage melee, light and fire. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good, this is a good shield. It, like, does a little bit less damage, but everything else about it is amazing. Anything else? Eh. Okay, that belt will be useful for the sandworm lair. Anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, sell it all. Let's get out of here. What else do we have? Okay, scintillating caves. Minimum level one. Change level. So easy. Stroll. Hello! Are you the foe? Or a snake? Spellblaze crystal boss. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's actually doing some damage to me. And is dead. Admittedly, I'm gonna have to walk out of here. Well, I guess I could I could just warp, but there's a chance we might have another one of those like random escort quests. I'm just gonna start skipping some of this lore. There's a lot of it, and it takes a while, and that actually wrecks my voice more than anything else. Also, uh So, uh, uh, not needing to breathe will save you in the sandworm layer. Oh, cool. Hello, weird creatures. I honestly can't even see half of them. That's a fireball. Weird red crystal creature. You killed your boss. Can you all just, like, come and fight me faster so I don't have to, like, hunt you down? I guess what I could do is just warp out of here.
Let's see. Yeah, why not? Why, why don't we do that? Okay, I don't think any of these are good. Oh, storming the city. You approached Dirth. You saw a huge dark cloud over the small town. When you approach, you're greeted by an army of air elementals slaughtering the population. What? Earth? Not this? Uh, apparently these are ogres. I'm confused. Okay, Brotherhood of the Alchemists. Four additional stat points. All your savings throws by fours. Magic and willpower by three. Elixir of Mastery. Okay, so we need a red crystal shard and a Zorn fragment. And we found the sandworm tooth. Okay, so that's easy. So locked doors are the quest givers. Good to know. Okay, any really good swords? Not really. Some great swords, yeah, but eh, the rest of this stuff, not so much, though. So, let's sell these things. Okay, northeast. Dearth is by Corpool. Oh. I just, I'm wandering around. Hey, thank you, Dystrophy, for the 21 month resub. Welcome to Tales of Majayal. I am just demolishing everything in my path. Uh, let's see, we might as well go down this for a bit. Uh, let's see, we might as well stroll to the end, destroy everything at the end, and then just bail. Because I think anything in between is probably not worth it, unless it's got... Oh, I see you. Elven female, eh? Oh no, it's probably this guy. Nope. Oh, none of these are the boss yet. Any of you guys feel kind of bossish? I wish to destroy you bodily. Well, kind of curious why these elves would just have like ghouls just hanging out in their their weird dungeon. It's identical to like literally every other dungeon that I've run into so far. It's really unfortunate that they only have, like, a handful of dungeon tiles in this game. Because it really does put me in this situation where I'm just like, eh, let's just, like, speed through. There might be, like, a... A benefit? Well, not exactly benefit. But there might be more reason to pay attention to what I'm doing if it wasn't so repetitive-ish. Like, I like the adventuring and I, I like the fighting things. There we go. This is the boss. Lauren Inquisitor. All Elf rushes at you, wielding both your greatsword and her magical spells. Back here. Okay. Let's see. I guess we might as well read this. What more tile sets in the last half of the game? Interesting! My dearest, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope I worry for you so close to the city, so vulnerable they should find our base. But I trust in your strength, and I know you'll be safe. Y yet, should anything happen, I wish you were here with me, able to share in the wonders I've seen. This journey has far more pales. The Ziggurath, Ziggurath have been to us, tracking us relentlessly, spoiling many of my plans. They are truly a force to be reckoned with, but luck is with me. I've managed to capture one and find out the location of their base. Soon we shall prepare an attack that shall put the end to their threat, uh, an end to their threat forever. Ah, but here's something more exciting than even that. In the charged scar, I've uncovered a truly ama amazing thing. The mark of Spellblaze. Oh, how I long for you to be here with me, to see its wonders. You of all people know my passions well, and what delight you would find in what I've 
discovered here. Here's where our future lies. Here's where we shall gain the power to truly strike out on our own. Look after our people well and keep strong our base for when I return. It shall be soon, I hope, and it shall be in glory. Well, I think we just killed somebody's husband and her wife. I don't really pay attention to the, uh, the corpses I leave behind. Apart from what loot they give me. Which probably makes me the real monster, but eh, I don't know. Okay, Chorus Fall looks like staff of some variety. Anything else? No. I guess to some de degree, if there was a quest, we'd already see it. You know, who are these people? I that probably would make more sense if I was doing if I was actually looking at all this lore. It says, scintillating caverns must be protected. Our great leader has ordered it so, and his word is more binding than law. The numbers are few, and we must move in secrecy. But a quiet watch will be made in our caverns. Any who are seen to interfere in them must be lured here to our place of strength and brought before me for inquisition. More have joined our cause. The eyes have been opened. The injustice our people have suffered, blamed by the other races for the spell blaze and its effects. They are sick of the cowardice of the council, who sit in silences, who are scorned and hated across the world. But most of all, they are inspired by our great leader, and the powers he has gained from studying the Spellblaze. He alone realizes our full potential. He alone can see in our hearts what we are truly capable of. He has blessed me, rescued me from a tortured life, and touched me with his power. Only he can lead our people. With his mastery, the world will see our strength and recognize us as a true force to be reckoned with. Trust in our power, for she, he shall bring us glory. If you stick with this game long enough, all of your complaints will be... Uh, addressed. I mean, I think truly, no matter what, this game will never look good. And I think that's the that's the rub. Like, no matter how good the game is, it will always still look like something from the 90s upscaled really hard. It's fun, and I like it. Like, this is one of the best roguelikes I have ever played. Admittedly, at this point, I'm just face-rolling like a complete champ. Uh, and I think some of it is I did turn this on an easier difficulty. Um, which I probably shouldn't have done, but you know what? I've never played this game before, and I'm not sure how much harder it can get. Yeah, I think we want to go up. You always go down. Nothing here. Oh, that's fine. I do think I will read all the lore in retrospect. We must be on guard. The Council of Elders is desperate to find us, to hunt us down and suppress us. We will not be suppressed. We have our rights. The scouts tried to track us down, and their spies tried to infiltrate our numbers. They cannot accept any others having power, any voice but their own having our uh, own being heard. We have split away from our people, and we follow our own path now. We are outcasts. They call us renegades, anarchists. They think of us nothing but vermin to be crushed underfoot. We will not endure their cruel supposition. Our voice will be heard across the world, and they shall recognize the new race of power, the mighty Ralloran. Like, I am absolutely face-rolling here. It's, uh, it's really satisfying, just, like, l embodying Bulwark. Admittedly, I do feel a bit bad, because it was really fun earlier when I was taking on that, that one challenge that was a lot harder. Because I, I, I did find that really, really compelling for a while. The trade-off is the time it takes to do that sort of thing really slows the game down considerably. And so, yeah, being able to face roll considerably probably helps quite a lot. Ooh. Open the chest always, even if it summons a gooner. Stop fleeing from me. Not okay. I wonder if half the reason why the enemies can flee from me is because my movement se speed sucks. Oh, hey! One of these. Oh, they're level 21. Unfortunately, I've gotten to the point where these guys are no longer super threatening to me. It was really cool fighting the level 30 dudes. And, like, having to try and survive through that. Like, I really enjoyed that part. Oh, 
Oh. Still don't need to try. Probably for the best. I'm sure once we go back up to the things that are my level, this will be much... Much less of a problem. Okay, so we want to go up. There we go. Okay, so... Copper, amulet, prisming. Extra light radius. A lot of resistances. I'll hold on to it. Anything else really good? That's a shield. So I should keep an eye out for a better helmet, but I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, let's see. Apart from the maze and the halfling runes, you've been doing starter dungeons so far. Okay, that's good. Oh. We got these guys again. I like these guys. They're like loot pinatas. Stupid loot pinatas. Stupid racist loot pinatas? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Battle Axe. No, none of these are actually good. Comparatively. What else do we have? Pass to the Old Forest. Decent level. We'll just kind of keep working our way up. Eventually, it'll get harder. <laughs> Probably when I pay more attention. Uh, let's see. Combat accuracy might not be a bad idea. 